In today's video, we have this. It's a bag of cell phone and consumer electronics opening tools. Why are we doing this? Because we are going to, no, not this one. This is the Nova 3 color. We're gonna open this. This is the iFly Tech, and it is a flush screen and bezel color e-reader with a glow light. The reason we're not gonna open the Nova is because this is a very trending piece right now, and we don't have one to burn, and this is a very nicely well put together thing. So we're gonna burn the iFly Tech instead to get to the bottom of how many layers exactly are between your eyes and the viewable surface first thing we're gonna do is wow open this bought this for nine dollars on Amazon yeah pow seed that is the brand pow seed all right so we got ourselves a uh, suction cup for removing that um, likely this is actual glass probably just gonna probably just gonna break unfortunately we are not professionals at this. We're not claiming to be professionals. We're not trying to be like Jerry Rig Everything. Although that is a great channel. If you guys never seen those, uh, that that channel, check it out. So we have a bunch of uh, removable tools here. Some guitar picks. I know they're not guitar picks. They're little wedges and whatnot. Uh, Torx. Oh, Phillips. Uh, we have a Torx and should have a flathead. And we have some prying tools. So. This is a flush screen and bezel design. This is not a sunken screen. Sunken screens would be easier because all you do is just, you know, reach in and pull it off like that. This one is a little bit more sealed up. It was never really meant to be opened. Although we do have some Phillips access, uh, access screws right here. So we will start by taking those out because usually they have Torx or Phillips at the bottom. And this is meant for servicing your device and by servicing we mean uh, you know changing the USB port if maybe it's too loose resoldering battery cables swapping the battery it, various things if you're technically sound which we are very not when it comes to opening up devices some people open them up and service them so logic says should be able to pull this slightly apart because it should give us access after having pulled that so there you go you see that it is it is granting us access. Now, being the professionals we are, just kidding, I have no idea which one to use. Um, well, this one is rigid and has a lot of leverage, so I would assume I'm gonna use this one and put that in there. Oh, okay, well that's, oh, I was gonna say that was easy, but it's not all cotton candy and gumdrops yet. So, got it. Looks like uh, once I whip this guy out, this was the this was the one to use right there. If you guys want to send in your devices to be screen swapped, send them over to me. I'll get it done. No, please don't. We don't know what we're doing. We don't have the facilities to do so. Those two access screws were held in by the actual threading that is attached to the body right here. So that is what held on the bulk of this. And the remainder was a numerous amount of these tension clips that go around the entire uh, border and perimeter of the device. So let's see what we're looking at when it comes to the layers here. So we can already see by the fact that we can bend the screen on the very top that it is not glass. So it is a flush screen and bezel, but it is using plastic because glass does not... <laughs>
outer screen protector and it does feel very gelatinous it's a very silicone gel type protector and it is super stuck on there it took quite a bit of effort to actually get it that far and it's not the touch layer because the touch actually still works we can touch the background through that layer so that doesn't seem to be the touch layer just yet this might just There is the outer flush screen and bezel plastic slash glass, depending on what the manufacturer is using. There is the protective layer that goes over all of the necessary layers beneath it. There is the glow light layer, and then there is the full glass pack screen itself that e-ink sends to all of the manufacturers. This unit is still fully usable, and it is uh, fully available. If you guys want it, we can ship it to you if you want to do a further teardown on it. And for a good e-reader and a full teardown video, our first one, I might add, of the iFlyTech or basically any color e-ink flush screen and bezel device, this is Peter.